It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Utah Jams. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. It's an interesting matchup here, Clark, especially in the backcourt. Well, you've got guards that can do a little bit of everything. They pass it, they score it, they can control and manage tempo. I think it makes for a very entertaining game. Here's the dude. Dishes it to Johnson. And the layup fall. Nice hustle by Marcus Johnson. Got his timing just right on the offensive boards there. Griffith passes to Green. Down low. Four on the shot clock. Milwaukee with the rebound. They defeated Indiana in their last game. They show just how deep this team is. Great contribution for them from the bench. And if you're going to get wins on the road, you need to have a strong rotation. Being able to compete with your stars resting goes a long way. Here's Griffith. And no good. His first shot of the night missing. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. Now, here's Green. 20 points for him last game again. And his playmaking was fantastic as well. Lock at six. The rebound by Lister. Solid defensive effort. Putting in the work to protect the hoop and disrupt his shot. And they pick up two. And that type of defense doesn't get to Johnson. He's adept at working through contact. The Jazz have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. The pass to Drew. Outside Green. Pass to Eaton. Out left of the wing. The shot from 20 feet away. Good as the jump shot falls. Good looking jumper from Drew. The D has to respect him from there. For Milwaukee, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's the dude. He gets hauled in by Griffith. Boy, that's a squandered opportunity there. One he'd like to have back for sure. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Passes to Green. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the line for him here. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Here's the dude. He's coming off a 31-point game against Indiana. Stolen. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Lifting off. The defense gives Drew some space, and he quickly takes advantage. The Bucks trail. Johnson outside. Pass to Moncrief. The Bucks working the ball around. Brewer trying to free himself. And that one's good, the dude. They look to him offensively. A player who makes an impact on this end. Here's Drew. Last game he had 28 points. Brewer with the rebound. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong. Because more often than not, you'll face stiff defense. 
pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Outside, Green. And the pass to Drew. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And the Jazz making a change here. The line from Jazz, number 31, Jerry Hughes. Just five on the clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Count the basket. Well, if you want the mid-range, it's normally there. Here's the dude. He's one of the most resourceful scorers you'll ever see. He's generating an average of around 33 and a half points a game. And it's in there. This is just solid offensive awareness. Moncrief sees the open shooter and knows to get him the ball. Here's Drew. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. And Eaton gets it to go. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Moncrief the pass to the dude. No good on the three. Utah trailing here. Inside. Green. A putback. Excellent work. Contesting the shot and then positioned perfectly to go after the rebound. Here's Moncrief. Good. And it's Johnson with the assist that time. Moncrief's got his second basket of the night. Defense gets all up in Moncrief's face, but he is committed to getting his shot to fall. Here's Griffith. And count it from 19 feet away. Timeout called the Bucks. Well, we're right around the midway point, Clark, of the regular season. Can a team change their identity at this point? I think it's possible, but it's not probable. Unless you make some kind of a monster trade. You know, the DNA of, of your squad and its makeup you do that during training camp, so I think during the season. Jazz trail by nine. Lowry passes to Childress. Back to Lowry. Here's E. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. Here's the dude. Good. Nice job down low. The dude's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Childress, the pass to Drew. Tries it from 19. Yes, that goes in. Drew's got eight points. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Top of the key, pressing. Pass to the dude. Pulls it from the elbow. The rebound by Childress. Jazz trail by nine. Now running. There comes Lowry pushing the ball up. Here's Drew. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Drew's got four points in the quarter. Great possession there. He ends up with a look right at the rim. Here's the dude. He has six. It's despite the tough D. He's got eight. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Passes it to Drew. Goes up on the high post. Gets a hand on it. Pass to Eve. Here's Kelly. Hasn't made one yet. And another shot. And it's good on the way up. The story of their offense so far has been just that. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Bucks leading by seven. Moncrief the pass to the dude. Goes up the baseline. And he nails the jumper. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Here's Drew. Pressy defending. The pass to Eves. Here's Drew. Ten points for him. Clock at four. No matter what the scenario, Drew finds a way to get things done. 
and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. You know, in the early going, they've been effective scoring in the mid-range, and if it's falling, I say stay with it. Another thing they're doing well early on tonight is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting involved on the offensive plays. And so he hits both. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. The dude passes to Brewer. On grief up top. And he gets it to go from the high post. On grief's got six points. Moncrief can do it all. His game is without a hold. Utah calls timeout. The Jazz making a switch here. Cornette's checked in. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. Take a look at Utah. They're sitting pretty. Second place and looking to take the top spot. Jazz trail by nine. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Bailey. They get it again. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Jazz shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Here's the dude. He's got ten. Moncrief kicks to Pressy. Here's the dude. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Jazz trail by 10. Pass to Drew. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Hey, now, when John Drew knocks down a shot or two, watch out, because he can explode. And we see that in this one. Back to Moncrief. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Passes it to the dude. Rebound, Utah. Away from home on the road, what a tremendous game they had at the offensive end. And they were in their offense, dictating the pace. Hard to do on the road. Pass to Griffith. Here's Bailey. He's guarded by Johnson. Just four to shoot. From the wing. Brewer with the rebound. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Not content to sit on this lead. I like it. Going right at him. Yeah, just fanning the flames, trying to leave no chance for a comeback. And that one misses. Mike, the NBA switching to a best-of-five series for the first playoff round this year. Uh, what do you make of the change? Should reward top seeds a bit more. Much better than best-of-three. You wonder if they'll ever go to best-of-seven. Well, would a coach be in favor of that? If you're on the sidelines, would that be a road to take? Coaches always love coaching. Add more games. They get to coach that much more. Their fans get to see more games. Of course. Right. And they go to the intentional foul. You know, I just can't get my head around this decision. And so it's Milwaukee bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Here's Drew. There's the pass to Eaton. Bucket is good. Eaton's got his second bucket of the night. Great vision by Drew. Saw a teammate with a great look. Found him. 
Here's the dude. Off target from outside. Perhaps he was a little too open that time. Won't see that from him very often. Griffith. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Moncrief. Johnson outside. Here's the dude. Guarded by Green. Here's the dude. Five on the clock. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. Green deciding where to go with it. Pass to Drew. They set the pick. To the inside. Here's Eaton. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Eaton's got six points. Inside Eaton can be merciless. Playing over the defense and finding point blank shots. Moncrief dishes to Johnson. Now Moncrief. He has six. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Opportunistic play by Moncrief, taking whatever the defense will give him. Green, the pass to Drew. To the middle. The shot's good for Eaton. He's got eight. Assertive move. You can tell this game's heating up. Milwaukee leading by five. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. Wing shot on the way. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Griffith. Here's Green. And easy two points on the layup. Effort is a skill, and one he possesses in abundance. Here's the dude, guarded by Green. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Milwaukee making a switch here. Pressy is checked in. Jazz on D. It's a three-point game. Johnson inside. On the money with the shot from the left block. Strong take by Johnson. He can score anywhere on the floor. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Jazz. Nice game. Great performance by the dude. And he looks to be in total control right now. The defense keeps failing to slow him down. And the more he scores, the more confidence he gains. Side green. Johnson with the block. He could really stretch it and extend. Johnson with some good reach defense. And that one drops for him. Now it's a seven point Bucks lead. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. There's a screen. This is it to Eaton. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Eaton's got 10. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pit allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Pressy passes to Mike. Here's Pressy. Johnson in the corner. Shot on the wing. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. Here's Green. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Milwaukee leading by seven. Here's the dude. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Utah. That is game three of this four-game trip. Pass to Bailey. Here's Griffith. Moncrief defending. Griffith passes to Bailey. Here's Griffith. 
Shot clock at six. Back to Green. Good on the three-point shot. Eight points for him. Great teamwork from Griffin. Noticing the open teammate and getting it to him. And there's the pass to the dude from about 16. And it goes down two points. And the Bucks lead by eight. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Drew passes to Eaton. Here's the dude. 20 points for him. A shot. No good. Great tee that time from Green. Step back shot. Griffith can't get it to go. Bucks leading by eight. Pass to the dude. Shot from the top of the key. Great tee that time from Green. The Jazz have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Looking to get it going. Griffith passes to Bailey. Pressy against Green. Here's Drew. He's got 18. The shot's good from Eaton. If you let him get that deep on you, he's going to score every time. At that point, you're already doomed. Bump, push. Do whatever it takes to move him out. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. The Jazz making a switch here. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matched. Jazz trail by six. Here's Eves. Pass to Lowry. Here's Griffith. The Jazz working the ball around now. Fires from 18. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. These offenses have been so sharp, so focused, so dialed in. And Neither one is slowing down in the late game. If anything, I think they're gaining momentum. Both determined to run up the score as much as possible. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Outside Lowry. Pass to E. Here's Griffith. Offensive rebound. A shot by Lowry. No good. Bucks leading by six. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And that one's good. The dude. The Jazz have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Bailey. Now the pass to Eves. And he nails that one right through the net. This speaks to his high basketball IQ. Assessing the situation perfectly and kicking it out. Here's the dude. The shot. No good. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Eves. Pass to Bailey. Shot from 12, and the basket is good. In the paint, it's hard to stop Bailey. His shots are right there waiting for him. Johnson surveying the floor. Passes to Mike. Wound up there for Johnson. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Look at the leaping ability of Johnson. Getting up there to finish off the alley-oop. Eves passes to Lowry. Here's Bailey. The jump hook. That's in. Coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got three assists tonight. Bucks leading by four. Here's the dude. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. 
The dude's got 12 points in just the second half. Utah calls timeout. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, during that timeout, the coach of the Jazz talked to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Thank you, David. Drew passes to Eaton. Plays it up and banks it in. Eaton's size is so hard to match up against. Not a lot the defense can do there. Here's the dude. And it's blocked. Last break. Here come the Jazz. Here's Bailey. Again, the Jazz score. And you talk about a total 180-degree turn from the first half. They look like a completely different team in the second. They've really upped their energy. Doing a great job pushing the ball right now. Good work there as it goes. With a hard road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. And so Green will bring it up for Utah. Trailing by four. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Brewer is checked in for Milwaukee. Here's the dude. Elbow shot is on the way. And this is what Eaton does best. Such a forceful shot block. Saw that angle to the basket and knew exactly what to do in transition. When he has a lane like that to the rim, you know he's looking to finish the break. Here's the dude. 18 feet away and he knocks it down. The dude's got eight points here in this quarter. Jazz trail by four. Pass to Drew. There's a good screen. Sweet move. Brewer with the rebound. Brewer's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's the dude. Shot from the wing. And the big shot is good. And now a six-point Bucks lead. For Utah, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Drew. He's guarded by Johnson. Drew misses. He was all alone. Just couldn't get it to go. And you hope that doesn't deter him from taking that shot in the future. Let's it go. It's tipped. And they get it back. Six on the shot clock. Here's the dude. A three ball. Here's Lister. And finally they hit one. And the Bucks lead by eight. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing them. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. Work hard to force a miss, and then it's all for nothing. What a powerful move that was right off the screen. Yeah, they set him up well there. Obviously, a set they've been running in practice. He knew just what to do. Jazz trail by six. Griffith passes to Drew. And that one is stuck right through. Leave it to a true score to get it done. Drew shoots it with confidence. The pass to the dude. Got a piece of it. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. There's 154 left to play here on the fourth. Here's Drew. He's guarded by Johnson. Eaton the pass to Green. Six to shoot. Here's Drew. 
from past the arc. He's off on that one. I think that's how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. You're right. Anything less than lockdown defense on him will result in three points. You can count on that. The dude misses. Jazz trail by four. Drew passes to Bailey. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Loves the ball in his hands in these moments. Bailey with the utmost confidence. Here's the dude. 17-foot shot on the way. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Here's Green. That's to Drew. Back to Green. Passes it to Griffin. Here's Drew. Pass to Eaton. Here's the dude. Twenty-six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Good. Simply as calm as you can be in that situation. He's got that mentality. Doesn't shy away from big moments. And the Jazz call time here. They trail by four. 15 seconds left to play in the final quarter. So it's Utah now. Four point game. Here's Griffith. And here's Green outside. It's good. And that shot brings them to within just one. Five seconds left in the game. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Hey, that's the right move. You, you can't allow them to milk the clock here. Yeah, all they can do is send them to the line and hope for some misses. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Utah calls timeout. They're behind by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? I think you attack the rim here. Get the ball close to the goal, and that way, even if you miss, you might have a chance with a putback. It loose and an intentional foul right there. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. And the Jazz call time here. What's your take, guys? I think they need to find a quick three. No hesitation. It's tough to do, but not impossible.
to force OT. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. Well, it was an absolute thriller, Mike. We were so fortunate to watch it. These fans, too, holding their breath. They had to until the final whistle. There was no shortage of excitement. And getting it done in front of the home crowd makes it even sweeter. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone.